punchy. No bonus. Hello everyone, it's time to play a game. A remake. Another remake. I they disagree. made another one. His smile and optimism gone. <laughs> My smile and optimism, shall we? Arashi man, thank you for the three months. Right, let's get the game up here. Because this is like the tricky part, because this is the Switch, and the Switch is a cursed console that behaves a bit funny with my setup. Here we go. Game only. Hello. Oh, Switch, I'm in the corner. I disagree. Greetings, Punchy. Go forth and do the thing. I'll do the thing. Charno, thank you for the 39 months. Right, so, this is uh, quite a mouthful. Game Center CX Ari no Cho Senjo 1 2 Replay, which is a remake of Retro Game Challenge 1 and 2 for the DS on the Switch. The, the first game was translated to English, the second one was not. What's that third game? I wonder if this is Moku Moku Sensen, which is a fighting game that's like five bucks. It's neat. Uh, it might make it into a video at some point, but like a smaller one. But, uh, this is this is a remake of a pair of DS games that I rather like. The first one was translated. The second one was up. The second game in the series, uh, Ayuno Chosenjo Two, is the o is the first game I ever imported from Japan. And at the time, I couldn't read a sh fucking word of the language. None. Zero. <laughs> Not a little bit. Not even a small amount. It was great. So, you know, this is this is, this is is a revenge match. It took me, like, months to beat the second game the first time, because I couldn't fucking read it. For, c creates many issues when you cannot read any of the text. Am I including the not safe for work art lore as well? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Genuinely, I don't know what you mean by that. No Anglaise. The unfortunate, yeah, this this remake uh, doesn't have an English version. Uh, this is this has been passed up for translation, and I think I don't think it's gonna get one. I don't think it's like I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't think it's gonna get one. I think I think I think you're screwed on that one. It occurs to me though, I didn't actually make a command. I didn't I didn't update the command for of the new vid, for the new vid. Could you give me Can you give me a moment to do that real fast? <laughs> Don't, don't, don't do it. Hang on, I gotta update the command. I didn't make the command different. People are reminding me, Punchy, you made a new video. I did make a new video. If you want to see the new video I made, you can see the new video. But I need to update the command first so it actually goes to the right bloody thing. Because that's, that's what you got to do when you're a content person. Uh, did that work? Did that work? Yeah, there we go. I've got it, I've got it, it's fine, it's, it's updated now. Put that in my title, oh, advertise that, yeah. So I want people to watch the new video I made about Shadow Hearts. But yes, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Let's actually start playing the game. Game Synth CX, 1-2 replay. Catch on. That is loud as fuck. Hold that. <laughs> I need to turn the volume way down on my end, because that just, like, annihilated my eardrums. I think you guys... It's pretty level for you guys. Uh, I touched this a little bit just sort of to get a feel for how the port was. I just knocked my switch over. It's very clever. It's why I was tangled. It was therefore not long enough for my purposes. I have friends online, that's crazy. Yes, uh, this is a two game in one package, and there's a couple of uh, additional pieces, but as far as I could discern, this is a more or less point for point remake of the two DS games. So we will play the first game, which is the one that's like already translated to English. I mean, I. I two, IMO 2 is better, but also it's like the second game, you know? Start from the beginning. I'm willing to restart this. I only played this for like two minutes, so. So any stories to submit to on I was like, I'm pretty sure I knew what I was saying, but I made sure. So do you really, do you really want to do this? Do you really want to restart your entire? Yes, I do. I'm fine. Thank you. Yes, they, they, they remade this. Even they have remade rip old files. I only played this for like ten minutes. It's fine. 
You can be a boy. I like this is type A or type B. <laughs> it's like, what's your type, you know? Uh, my name. I'm... Oh, right. You gotta... Where is... Where is... There it is. Right there. I'm punchy. That's the fastest I think I've ever gotten through a Japanese naming screen before. Please clap. It's a when Arino fails at the challenge on the TV show, his feelings manifest in the Nintendo Switch as Game Master Arino, and he challenges gamers all around Japan with his challenges. That's the plot, that's what you just got there. I'm not in Japan though! Not this- hmm, nah, I'm not immersed. I'm not immersed, I'm out. I'm not immersed anymore. I've, like, I, I've, they've failed to consider the possibility of the import gamer. You turned it on. You really turned it on. <laughs> you, you turned on the power. Live translation is hard. My name is Game Master Arino. So you like games, huh? You have that smell about you. You'll do fine. My game challenges. This won't be an ordinary challenge. I'll send you back to when you were a kid. Send you back to the past to play the shitty games that suck. That's not what you say. It makes me laugh. Play the nostalgic games and clear my challenges. So without further ado, Turn you back into a child. Arino! Oh! I've turned you back into a child from the 80s. If you can clear my challenges, you'll be able to return from whence you came. Uh, I'm not a child from the 80s, so this doesn't entirely work for me, but that's fine. Do your best! Yeah, I'm, the, my translation is super rough, okay? I know it's not good. I got like five seconds to think of a line, alright? Especially because this game has like an official English translation, right? This is the problem of the Switch version. Their load times are quite fucking long compared to the DS version. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? Me? I'm Arino. This is this is boy Arino. Small boy Arino. Hey Ike. Glad you like the new vid. So what are you doing here? Actually the bridge explanation. Game master? You came from the future? If you don't play games you can't go back? You're a funny one. Well anyway, basically, you just wanna play, right? Yay! I want to play. Exactly. Same. I always wanted a game playing friend. Let's play the game I just bought. Ta-da! This! Cosmic Gate! You know, Cosmic Gate, it's pretty popular in the arcades right now. I know it, I've played this game before. Huh? What do you mean it's nostalgic? It's the new popular game in the arcades. You shoot the cool looking... Uh, you shoot you shoot bug type enemies with a cool looking spaceship. The fact we can play games like this at home now, it sure is a cool time. Let's hurry up and play it. Da, 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 da. I'm pretty sure my like on the like off the cuff translation does not even vaguely match what's in what Xseed translated this in to, as I haven't played the English version of this game in a long time. 
Remember this game when XE published it in English? Yeah, unfortunately the Switch remake, uh, this doesn't have an English translation, probably because it also includes the second game, which was never translated officially, it never happened. Which is a shame. The challenge this time is this! Stage 5. Clear Stage 5. That's pretty straightforward. However, if you use the warp gate and skip past Stage 5, uh, you, it will not be considered as clearing the challenge, because you skipped you skipped the stage, even, even if you clear even if you clear the next stage. It has to be specifically fine. That's what it's saying. I fucking, I swear to God I can read this language. <laughs> I swear to God I can do it, alright? It's the first challenge, so it's pretty straightforward. But if you end up warping past stage five, you think, ah, oh, I failed the challenge. Press the R button and the minus button together, and you can reset. And you'll immediately be sent back to the title screen to retry. Okay, this actually, this, what is this? If you fail a challenge many times, and you think, no matter what I do, it's too tough. Uh, drop me a line. Use the chat option in the room. You can, uh, get a buy. That's what that's saying. Yeah, you can use- you can use the give up option. Is this accurate translation? I, not fucking really. I'm giving- I'm giving you the gist here. Uh, here he's explaining that if you- if you spend a certain amount of time and can't clear the challenge and want to give up, you can choose to give up from the room menu. This wasn't in the original. This is actually one of the few things they've added uh, to the Switch remake. This wasn't a thing. Uh, it was a thing in the second game, but they've backported that into the original. By the way, playing this game for a little bit like made me realize how many things I've unknowingly copied from Arino's speech mannerism into how I talk. And I was like, shit, that's embarrassing. Because I, I watch a lot of Game Center CX, and that has unknowingly put, like, plants of Kanzai Ben in my fucking manner. Like, not- I don't conjugate that way, because that's non-standard, but... Tadash! If you give up a challenge... You cannot challenge that challenge- you cannot take that challenge again. So be careful. So aren't I- aren't I so nice to give you such an option? Well then, carry on. Say game over. It's more that I go Ewa when I like... <laughs> I, I do the Ewa thing. I didn't realize that was Kanzai then. Akang! Donaista. I don't pronounce any of it properly, but I didn't realize how much of it was specifically Kanzai then, because probably the, the Japanese thing I have watched the most, more than any anime, uh, is just hundreds of episodes of Game Center CX. Hmm, that guy is me from the future? No way, that's gross! I don't want to become that old guy! But, but you, what you were saying earlier was true. After seeing that, I can't. I, I have no choice but to believe. I'm not really sure how he's seeing this. <laughs> it's like, where where does this come from? Does he appear on the television? I believe in you. No, it disappeared before I could read it. Huh? Lucky Kaiser, thank you for the 25 pounds. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much. If we don't clear the games, I can't go home. Choose game selection. Choose the game you wish to play from the game selection menu. And press A. You can start the game. Now let's begin playing. I'll give Use you my support. Words. What are you planning? 
Okay, so here's the thing about the Switch remake that bugs me. Watch this shit. Fucking six seconds just to get to the menu. Are you serious? Bro. That's grim. That was like instant in the DS version. I know I know DS game cartridge based medium, right? But like shit, dude. Wow. Every fucking time. Ouch. Sorry, like that bothers me. It really does cuz it kicks you out when anyway. What's the challenge again? What am I doing here? Stage go clear sail. Hi. And then there's a load screen when you exit the challenge menu. Ah! Hi, Mora. Sorry if this was before, but how long have I been studying? About two years, I'd say. What are my study materials? Just things I like. Hi, Tasogare. Oh, start the game. Uh, start the game. Now, we have to clear five stages. Let me let you in on a little trick. See this glowing enemy? You don't learn about this until later. We shoot the glowing enemy first. It makes the warp gate appear. You shoot the warp gate. Stage four! Incredible stuff. Okay, but it, it, the challenge specifically says that if you walk past stage four, uh, stage five, then the challenge doesn't count as complete. So you gotta play, you gotta play the next two straight. You gotta do it normally. Galaga? Yeah, it's a Galaga parody. A lot of the games in this retro game challenge collection are parodies of existing games. It's meant to be a retro throwback, you know? They get more complicated as the game goes on. For what it's worth. But for now, we are playing a Galaga knockoff. It's more like Galaxian, really, but, like, no one cares. But no one wants to talk about that. Chosen Kriya. You're pretty good at games. So have you have you played this game before? Mm. <laughs> as I suspected, as he thought, so, the way your fingers move, those aren't the moves of an amateur. Game magazines we can read from the bookshelf. Choose game magazine. You can read them at any time. What happened to my left hand? Nothing. Just wearing the wrist brace today. It's kinda even in this portion. The only time kanji is used is when you're reading the magazines. There's lots of information and hints in the magazine. We have unlocked December 84. December 84 issue of Game Fan Magazine. You can also check the games. Each individual game has a manual. You can look at those too. By the way, are you the kind of person who reads the manual? Do we, do we read the manual before we play the game? Or read it when we get stuck. See, I am actually someone who reads the manual before he starts playing the game, usually. But not in this. Because <laughs> I already know what's going on. Read before playing. Huh? So you're that kind of... So look, you're that kind of player. Me? I never read them. I feel like if I read them, I'm losing somehow. This is why Arena sucks at games. Hubby got excited when I told you it was streaming, but then got sad when I told him it's not a US release. Yeah, this isn't translated, and I really doubt it's going to be. The challenges are just getting started. The next challenge is this! 
Use the warp gate twice. See, that's I, I already know how to use the warp gate, so that's pretty straightforward. Make the warp gate appear twice, and then warp twice. <laughs> cool. So, mm, do you know how to make the warp gate appears? If you don't know how, you won't be able to clear the challenge. Well then, do your best. When was the last time you got a physical manual in a recent release? Uh... <laughs> Although, it does come with... Kachol's business card. Which, interestingly, is in two languages. I mean, a business card. The Retro Game Challenge 2 also came with a business card, so I actually own two of these now. What do I do in the future? You play games. It's like a food. What is a Takuan again? I don't care. You play games in the future, man. What is a Takuan? It's like... It's on the tip. I swear to God I've heard this before. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I know. Ah! I don't remember. Pickled daikon radish. <laughs> no wonder! <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, daikon radish, a thing all British people are familiar with. Eh, huh? really? All I do is play games? That's great! The future me is really cool! Hmm, but is it really okay to be so happy about this? Him. For now, he won't play games. When he becomes an adult, he'll be able to play all the games he likes, so it's okay if he doesn't right now. Incredible. He'll leave it to us. We will play the games. Mm, but after, could you let me play One Life? Let's look at the magazine. You know, I already know the techniques, but you gotta you gotta look at like this like part of the thing. Also, this is the only portion of the game that has kanji in it for some reason. Cosmic Gate, currently very popular in the arcades, etc, etc, very cool. The technical bonus. So when the boss shows up, it brings two enemies with them in tow. If you defeat the two enemies before the boss, you get a technical bonus. That's how you get the big points. Even though I don't think the points ever actually yeah, matter. That makes sense. But nevertheless. The Asteroid Zone level. If you destroy the very big asteroid, you get a bonus. Also, there we go. This is the bit about the warp gate. Observe the enemy on the left. If you defeat the shining enemy first, the warp gate appears. And then you can proceed to... You can just skip past a bunch of levels. Indispensable technique for completing the game. This is like reader comment, not reader comments. Staff comments. Sometimes you you defeat a uh, blow up a middle sized asteroid in the asteroids and you get the tomato one up. Nintendo power. This is more of a Famitsu thing, I think, specifically. So when I when I turn when I try to turn the game on, but you know nothing appears on the screen. So maybe your adapter or electrical outlet isn't getting enough power. If your TV isn't getting any power, you know make make sure make sure there's power to your house. This is this is all shit posting. This is foreshadowing. It's like the the most the best selling games in here. Uh, your content is lacking. Uh, Muteki Ken Kung Fu is the first game on this list, right? As the most popular. Uh, game. Muteki Ken Kung Fu doesn't appear until the sequel. I know for the- Hi, Tojima. I don't want to translate pages of this shit live. It's hard. It makes my brain feel like it's on fire. I feel like I'm embarrassing myself. Hmm. 
Life translation is hard, you know, it's stressful. Especially because I'm not fluent. Anyway, play the game! The load times kill me. Why are there so many? <laughs> That's really bad! That's like my that's, that that's my big issue with with the, with this remake so far. Like I know it can't be helped, right? Wow, I'm miss. Yes, there we go. Punchy, no bonus. But yeah, like the. F I know it's because the Switch is, like, a pile of crap, but god, the load times are noticeable. That's not great. Right, where's the- where's- where are you? There he is. There's- there's Inky Binky and Stinky. Get out of the way! I'm trying to do the warp game. It's that simple. It's that straightforward. Remember the DS game loading pretty quick? It- it loaded basically immediately, uh... We completed it again. So if you're this good at games, do you really like? You must really like games. I like them a normal amount. Love them. Love them. Yeah. Damn straight. You have the face of someone who really loves games. What does that mean? Arena's mother. What's that supposed to mean? Remember the DS? Yeah, blah, blah. Hey, do you have a friend over? If you're gonna have someone over, you should tell me. So she can go get some snacks, My game mother. face. What? No, that's fine. We don't need anything. How do I translate this? I understand it perfectly fine, but like, how do you say this in English? Urusai is a weird word. He's saying his mother is bothersome, you know? Always getting involved, meddling, uh, something like that, fuck. She fusses over, thank you. <laughs> the problem that, sometimes, I'm not a very good writer, okay? Hard to find the right words. She fusses over every little thing, that's good. That's, that's, that's the one. I'm stupid, all right? Are they supposed to be friends? Words. In the con what are you <laughs> Selective words. In the context of the game, the, 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 the boy on the left is the player. We've been turned into a child. To, to, to try Game Master Arena's challenges. So it looks like you've, you've completed it again, but the challenges are, there's yet more challenges to come. The next challenge is this! The Asteroid Zone. Destroy the big one in the Asteroid Zone. Uh, how many... When does the Asteroid Zone show up? I don't know if you want to kill the Asteroid Zone. I don't know that word. I don't know if you want to kill the Asteroid Zone. If you get a power-up, it becomes easier. True, true, true. Asteroid Zone has a chance. I don't know if you want to kill the Asteroid Zone. Okay. So this ch this challenge should be pretty tricky. If you want to, if you want to go home, get a move on. Hurry up and beat it. Do your best. Oh, the next challenge is here. Mm, this one seems pretty hard. But don't worry, I've got a new magazine. This one has all kinds of neat tips and tricks about Cosmic Gate. 
If you give them a try, I'm sure you'll be able to complete it. It's my drink of choice. It's Bepis. Bepis Max. You get two into games. Do you end up forgetting what the challenge is? When that happens, from the game selection menu, choose the challenge details. If you press A on challenge details, you can make sure of what the challenge is. Like, yeah, thank you, man. If you get too into it... Well, this game is tutorial. It's the thing, it, yeah, it teaches you how to play every individual game quite slowly because the eventual end goal uh, is to complete all of them. Like, spoiler for, like, the very end of the game, the final challenge is beat every fucking game. Of which there's, like, what, eight? In a row? Not in a row. But you do have to beat all of them. And you can't mulligan that one. Uh, I think I just go ahead and, like, play this normally. God. I almost died. Power up! Now I shoot the rocket. Which has a piercing property. Not that it matters when the enemies don't go in a straight line. Yeah, every three stages, the asteroid zone. Now you gotta destroy the big asteroid. Where is it? Where are you? Oh, there it is. I can hear it. It's off. No, it's over there. You Google the Tyler's game, and the first result you got seems to be a bunch of Reddit posts about hardships of teaching jobs in Japan. From Game Center CX? So when you play this well, you don't you don't get a gain over. Huh? Did I say something weird? Am I saying it wrong? How do you read it? <laughs> Game over. Game over. This doesn't. The, 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 Arino can't. Famously can't read the word game over properly. Game over. Which one of these is. <laughs> hmm. Choices. These are the meaningful choices to ask an English speaker. No. Keep it normal. Game over? What? Game over. First was from our game center CX. Oh, hey, Spacey. The game is becoming over. Load times are killing me. I'm doing pretty good. I've changed history by teaching him the right way to say game over, I see. See, you didn't you didn't think I'd be able to clear this challenge? It's a baby challenge. Well then. The final this is the final challenge. Oh the score actually does matter, I forgot. We have to get 15 months in. I, I definitely fall victim to that thing where when I see a number, my brain reads it in English rather than Japanese. Mountain, mountain, the unit of... It's 150,000 points. Right? I can... I understand how man works. <laughs> I fucking hate numbers. I hate numbers! Don't ask me to do math! Don't ask me to do math in my, like, native language, much less my second, alright? Give 
track for you. Well, then do your best. Numbers are confused. The, 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 the powers are different in Japanese. They count in powers of, like, four, rather than the English way, where it's, like, three. It, it got, I think, I ha do I even have that the right way around? I think I do. To be clear, this challenge, I have to say goodbye. But, you know, that's obviously this is the first game, so that's not happening. That's kind of sad. Blank, blank, blank. Yeah, this this is why I put my YouTube in Jap- The fact that my I put my YouTube account in Japanese is the reason I consider it a success when a video gets 10,000 views, because then it's it's one month. It's Ichiman. So then it shows up, like, by the next via all of, uh, as... Whereas I think uh, in English it compresses at a different point. But uh, Ichiman feels like a nice benchmark for a video, which the, sh the new Shadow Hearts video is almost there. Alright, do your best on the, the final challenge. I must get points. Man earner. These load times are killing me. It's not that the load times themselves are that long, it's that they're so frequent. Oh, uh, incidentally, uh... Go back. Oh, I don't want to... You can change the display of the game so that it takes this form instead. So you get this, like, sort of little out-of-picture view. Because in the DS version, you'd see the game in its clear view on the top screen, right? With the shot of the two on, like, the floor in front of the television on the bottom screen. So they've done it this way, where you can select what kind of thing you want. You can have, like, different zoom levels. I prefer the one where I can just see what I'm doing, though. <laughs> Cosmic Gator Space Invaders parody? No, it's Gallagher. Oh. <laughs> have you ever heard of Gallagher? Yeah, <laughs> I want the bonus. Punchy no bonus. Punchy some bonus. Nice. I shoot it thirty two asteroids. That's pretty cool. Fantastic! Special bonus! I, I I really enjoy the commitment to like the kind of scrungly English. Rude! <laughs> you get a, you get color commentary from Arena, and that was like that was that was a sloppy mistake. Thanks, man. Cool, thank you. Oh, I opened the special warp gate, but I don't actually really care about that. <laughs> that one warps you forward more levels. But I don't want to warp forward, I want points. Where's my technical bonus, you know? I got nothing there, that was very cringe. Get, 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 get. Yeah. Defeat enemies with the missile many times. You accrue a multiplier. That's how you get the big points. Asteroid zone. Where is the big asteroid? Whoa. 
shoot it 37. I forget, what is the bonus cutoff? It's something. Either way, I get a special bonus. It's a silly video game. Bruh, I cannot hit the mans. There we go. My skills are not sharp at all. Uh! I really needed the... There we go. They shoot little onions at you. I need bigger point bonuses than this. Bendia, 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 Bendia. They just want to make tasty soup. I do not know. I don't know if it's very Benry. Death to that. Give me the points. Oh, there's two. Get a big bonus. Get a huge bonus. <laughs> Forty asteroids. <laughs> yeah. That's how you clip. I almost didn't stream this. I was gonna just play this off stream, and I will play more of it off stream almost because I'm not gonna finish this in one go. It's like a ten-hour game or something. Probably a bit more than that. Instant load time really sucks the wind out of that. So we cleared it. We cleared the final challenge. We'd like to congratulate us. The Cosmic Gate challenges are complete. Hmm? Final? Yeah, that was the last challenge of Cosmic Gate! It's your fault for getting the wrong idea. You thought it was the last game? No, there's many more games to come. Ah. From here, though, we'll be moving on to the challenges of a different game. Ooh. Glad you shared it. I had no idea. I really wish this was in English. Like, Chosen Jewel 2 in particular, I think, is, like, very good. I think it's a very, very good game. But, uh, it's the one they didn't release in English. It has a fan translation. So uh, if you have a like a DS emulator and are like unafraid of getting sued for 2.4 million dollars by a certain video game company, you can play this in English if you want. He is down cut. We thought it was the final challenge, but actually it wasn't. Tricked, idiot! How embarrassing. He got he got all sentimental about it too. What a waste. That's what's going on right now. I'm, I'm sort of reducing to trying to summarize this rather than uh, go line by line because going line by line takes too fucking long. Yeah, but now that we've completed all the challenges, we can simply play Cosmic Gate without worrying. Me. I've unlocked Yari Komi. Uh, Yari Komi, Yari Komi, Yari. Free play. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I think free play is what they did with that in English. I think. Taitoro ga men no menu ni Yari Komi ga sikazareta de. Uh, from the title menu, Yarikomi has now been added. Yarikomi is a funny word. It's like, Yarikomi in a vacuum can just mean, like, challenge run or speed run. It's just, it's just kind of a word for play a game a lot. I mean, it means other things, but that's... I'm a gamer, you know? We've added Cosmic Gate to the free play menu. Behaves the same way. Hmm, you can't use certain codes in the free play mode. 
Ah, we've, this is a new feature for the Switch release. They have also added Cosmic Gate to the ranking. This game has online rankings now. If you want to, like, score attack compete in, in Cosmic Gate against the rest of Japan, you can. Is that what they called it in that magazine, which made you want to try No Walk RE2? Yeah, it was, uh, the, the segment of the magazine where that was contained was, uh, Yadikomi Corner. Where players sent in their best Yadikomis, which is, like, runs of dipshit purpose. Honestly, anyone who participated in Yadikomi Corner back in, like, the 90s would have been, would be so good on YouTube. They'd be so good on YouTube. I want, I, I hope, I hope everyone's, I hope they're all doing well now. Uh, a new, a new game has released. We have jumped forward in time. Meep, 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 meep. Runs of dipshit purpose. Like, no walk has no purpose. I just did it because I thought it was interesting, you know? So, did I keep the long awaited? Did I keep you waiting? The new challenge. The game we are challenging next. Much anticipated in the magazines. How do I... The name of the game is Haguruman, which is like a portmanteau of like... It's like a... I think the joke is the joke is Mega Man, right? But like it's Haguru Haguruman, because Haguruma is Japanese for like a gear. I had to think about that really hard. I think in the English version they just called it Haggleman, which doesn't really work, but whatever. Uh, defeat an enemy. Defeat an enemy by jumping on the by jumping on them twice. Karakuri Ninja Haguruman is the title of this in it's in Japanese. Anyway, Fumitsukete. Jump on them twice and defeat two of them. I think you defeat two enemies in a row by jumping. So like bounce from one to the other. That's what they're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So this this might be a little too easy. Oh well, it's a new game. Consider this a freebie. Yeah, Gear Man, basically. It's not a... I feel like I'm... <laughs> it's not a complicated pun, I'm just stupid. So, well, I can be nice, too. Well, do your best to complete a new game. Oh, this one's gonna be kind of fucky for me, because this one actually has gameplay changes based on language. Hmm. Ma. Here we And what? You'll see. So he just he just bought the magazine talking all about Haggle Man. Incredible. Yes, we would like to play the game immediately. So you really want... You really want to play it, yes. You just got it. Keep re me reading the text on the judges as GDQX. No, Game Center CX. The original Let's Play. Here we are. I might want to learn the speedrun for this game, like, unironically, because it's about two and a bit hours, I think, which is kind of on the longer end for me. But I have played a lot of this game. So I feel like that might be fun. <laughs> Play the game. I actually, I routed this game already, like, for its DS iteration, I just never got around to actually doing it. 
So this is what I mean when I say it has gameplay differences based on language. <laughs> uh, the doors have... That's Japanese, baby! Rather than English. I mean, it's just individual characters, so like, is that a big deal? I forget what the significance of the letters is, though. It means something. There's a secret tied to that, whatever it is. I forget. We'll have to read the magazine and find out. No, don't do that. There you go. It's, yeah, but the thing is, is that I'm very stupid. I don't precisely know what that means. <laughs> I understand. Like, ancient ABC. Ah, uh, is that what it is? I, one thing that is cute about this remake, though, is the fact that when you clear the challenge, right, do you see how the game state is, like, still there in the background? Because that's unique, I think, to this version of the game. That doesn't happen on the DS one. So you're actually enjoying these challenges? Like, kinda, yeah? Mm. So Haggleman is the talk of- the talk of the school, the talk of Arino's school. How many games are in this? In the first retro game challenge? I forget exactly. Does it say on the back? No. In total, like, across both games in the in the collection, there's at least 20. Two of them are RPGs. <laughs> Have fun with that. It's a pun that includes each of all hiragana. Is that why the, the Tohora range is titled that? Because <laughs> I didn't know. That, that song. Does anyone know what the fuck I'm talking about? No one knows what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't have enough, like... I, I, I don't have enough, like, hyperweebs in my chat. The power level is too low around here. The challenges have now been too easy. So this time he'll make he'll make it a little harder for us. Okay. So the next challenge is this. Uh, should he count squat? Squat? I can't pronounce those fucking words. How do words work? Floor san made clear Get to floor three without using a shuriken. It sure is a good thing I know how to read that. Should he count? Ye. Uh, I didn't even use it before. He's gonna tell me anyway. How could you? How dare you do that? You tried to cheese Anti Eleven with Mr. Bones and failed. Should he can? Yeah. Uh, should he can? We'll, we'll see. Anyway, give it a try. You, you see, he, he, Will has learned a word from this stream. It's one. It's one of those funny cases of that word not actually like. The, the, we have a, like a funny blind spot. At least I think I do. For words where we we don't actually use a different word for them in English. I remember I remember seeing the, the, the Japanese for getter, like the kind of shoe, and like being like, what the fuck is a getter? And I was like, I already know. Like it's like, it's it's not one that changes. No there's no translation for that. You just use the word as is. It's like you have to relearn everything from scratch. Selected words. What are you planning? What am I trying to say? Do you say? So you think you think you can clear the, it easily? It's like, yeah, I can do it. I can clear. I can make this easy. I'll do it easily. Arena is not impressed. <laughs> you should be a little more humble. Thanks, Arena. Why do you? Load times! Ah! 
I hate it. I hate the load times. There's too many load times. God, they're really bad. I'm not, oh. I, I, I know, I know. I'm, probably, I, I'm gonna do it every time. It's gonna bother me every time. It bothers me, alright? <laughs> I can use doors. That's a legal move in the game of Haggle Man. Actually, I'm not totally sure what game in specific this is parodying. Like, I get the name is a Mega Man thing, but not much beyond that. Come back here! Ooh. God is ass. You normally, normally you have a projectile that you can throw with the B button that, like, stuns enemies, but the challenge is to reach floor 3 without using them. That's what we're doing right now. You can enter doors and it flips the other doors. Collect the scrolls. I disagree. Twitch streamer CX. Catch on. Oh, there's the boss. You can also just reveal the boss early. If you find them hiding behind a door. Hacks, thank you for the 16 months. Fat lot of good that did. You recall him being a skin in Super Mario Crossover? I think, yeah, uh, Arino actually became a playable character in one of the Mario Makers, I think, as part of, like, a promotional thing. It was on the show once, that's the reason I've heard of it. Because I don't fucking play Mario Maker. I'm not a child. Oh, there he is. There's the boss. Uh, is this okay? Ah! No. No! He is eluding me. He is. Why do they. The bosses all run away from me. God is smelly ass. So hey, do you know? I know. I don't know. I know. <laughs> so wait, what is it? What are we? What are we talking about? It seems like there's there's hidden characters in Hagelman. I heard it from my classmate. But is it really true? Let's look for it after. You thought you knew? Is there a fighting game in these retro games? In the second game, yes. In the second game in the package, there is a fighting game. I could swap over to the second game right now, actually. The setup for the two is completely identical. <laughs> the, the story is like 100% the same. They didn't even, like, it's totally the same. It even, like, the dialogue is even the same in like the first few boxes. They didn't, it's the same shit. This time the challenge will be even harder. Uh, get to... get to floor three without dying is what I think that says, which I already did last time, so that's bullshit. I already I already got this. Funny of Ninja Jajamarukun. I've never played that. I've heard of it though. Hitori mo yararezu kuro san made I think that means get to floor three without dying. think. Game Sense CX is a movie? It does! It's not very good! <laughs> Unfortunate. Love how Game Master Arena looks like the evil Dr. Khaled Shima. Mm, this challenge seems, seems very difficult. Are you confident? Yes, I'm confident. 
Hmm. So you're confident. But I just bought the magazine. Whatever, I guess I won't show you then. I'll just put it on the book pool and shelf with the rest of them. But you can't read it. Definitely don't look at it. We have unlocked it for looking at. Even Arena's basically going, don't see the movie, please. Was he? Blah, 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 blah. Too many words. I just want to, like, save the game and, like, quit out to the second game real quick to demonstrate the different games. Yeah, I made it. I made it. Top menu. So, yes, we also have. We have that's, that's Game Center CX1, but there's also two. Boot into that real fast. I am not starting a new game for this one. Because I don't feel the need- you, you understand the basic framework of the game by now, yes? He's got a cape now. That's the main difference. Also, we have an announcer. Can't choose that yet. Uh, two introduced the daily challenge, which has been faithfully ported from the DS version. Uh, where you get a- you get a new challenge every day and can accrue points for unlocks and what have you. Kaish. No idea how this works. You, you clear the challenges in the retro games as you're given them. That's what that's what we're doing here. The ba we understand the framework. We've been sent back to the 80s. He sent us back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass, right? That's how the game works. They're pretty similar, which is why they're bundled together. And in Game Center CX2, you have Wizman, which is like Pac-Man, but with with a sorcery ghost. I think that description made it sound cooler than it actually is. But the place I got to before I stopped playing and started the stream is I got to Muteki Ken Kung Fu. What's the challenge here? Oh, the load time between them. Muteki Ken wo hatsudou sasete teki wo taose. Activate Muteki Ken. And defeat an enemy. That is a special thing. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, so someone asked if there was a fighting game, so like here's here's what that looks like in in uh, the second game. As the second thing you unlock. There's there's two player versus mode. Do you wanna you wanna play you can play versus me? Tyson Sio! We can we can play against AI Arena and play him in a fighting game. Uh, I'm the guy on the right. I know that's probably slightly unintuitive. He's too strong. Ah! I'm losing. Now I'm the guy on the left. I'm, I'm, I'm the guy with the green pants. I have defeated Arino in combat. What an idiot. Yeah, Kung Fu is the NES's based on, I think. I think it's based on Karateka, because there's a lot of dialogue about how this is an American game. I believe Karatekar is the specific thing they're taking the piss out of here. I mean, it's kind of like a lot of things at once. But like a lot of the dialogue concerns itself with this being an American release. Like in the context of the story. Because Karatekar is an American game, isn't it? Whereas Ye Kung Fu is, um... Who made Ye Kung Fu? Anyway, whatever, it's important. I need to collect Muteki item. Ah, that's not how you collect Muteki item. There's there's a timing system to this. You can't just like mash. It has to be staggered. There we go. You kill an enemy by knocking an enemy into another enemy. You get Muteki item. Konami, yeah. So, not American, notoriously. 
Now I have two Muteki items. Falls on them. Three Muteki item. I'm fucking negative on hit after that, damn it. He doesn't understand my crouching technique. Thanks, Arena. Oh, there it is. Give me, give me, give me. Oh. Muteki Ken. So yeah, we had to we had to activate the Muteki Ken mode and then defeat an enemy. He truly doesn't understand what the, what the Americans are thinking. That is what is going on right now. Maybe it was not a good idea to switch into this. But well, if it's fun, then who cares? They're punching each other. They are, influ they are influenced by video game violence. They're hitting each other. Having an argument. In the American game, why is it right to left? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Arino's mother is bursting to be like, if you keep fighting, I'll throw away that bleep bloop machine. Nothing, nothing. We're not fighting. We get along great, right? Yeah. Surprised they didn't do a mock stream of you? That would be kind of funny. Watch out, they became Johnny Test. The child on the right, legit schedule. That's Boy Arino! The final challenge for Kung Fu, right? Because I jumped in on like the third challenge of Kung Fu. That's as far as I got when I was like testing the game out, seeing how it felt. The next challenge is to defeat the boss of stage two. It's a bit of a... It's not very ambitious, honestly, but that's okay. So can, can you manage to defeat him? Defeat the stage two boss? Can we, chat? Can we defeat the stage two boss? Can it be done? Probably. American video game violence, true. It's a bad influence. Uh, Game, Game Center CX2 features, like, more system variety. This isn't a Famicom thing that they're parroting, although I'm not sure what it is they're actually parroting. Someone probably knows. Uh, the fictional system they're using is the Enter 2000 for this, which is not a Famicom. Like, some other thing. I don't know. Like, in the context of the game, anyway. Like, the, the, the internal narrative. Wrong button. <laughs> I like how if you skip it, Arena goes, Ah! He's like annoyed. Ah, see, we found something. There's a secret here. But 
Turbo Graphics? SG3000. Oh. I did a skip. There's, there's a secret warp in, I think, most levels in this one. I just don't know where they all are. That's the thing with this one, is that it, they make, there's, there's a bunch of challenges, but there's also a bunch of, like, secrets in every individual game. Which makes it fun to replay, because you learn all kinds of things. Is it here? Where is it? It's somewhere. You have no idea what's going on. This is, like, one of the most straightforward things I think I could possibly have picked to play. What do you mean you don't know what's going on? Ow! <laughs> I'm owned by birds! No! The birds! They're too strong, dude! Bully this guy in the corner. Check out this bear. Destroyed! Absolutely wrecked! Completely annihilated! Be gone, bird! Stupid bird! My power ran out. Shit. He summons birds! No, that's cringe! When you, when you do this, the final challenge of a game in the sequel, they do this thing, but I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> also, the Macaruna strats, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's bullshit. They don't, they don't dissipate after they get hit. And that's the end of Kung Fu's challenges. Cool. GG. Talking about how uh, there's, there's games on all kinds of systems now. Whoa. What is this called? This is. This is Game Center CX Alino no Chosenjo. This was translated into English as Retro Game Challenge, but the second game and this Switch remake were not. <laughs> so this is only in Japanese. 
I'm just playing this in Japanese to be annoying. If it was in English, I would have done so. At least for streaming. Log off, Will! Fuck off! He's probably gonna play more of that stupid, like, squid game. Demon Returns. Based will. Based on what? Hello again. You got too excited and span more than. Span too much. A new, a new game to challenge has uh, has arrived. It's Demon Returns. Now he's on RTX with more frame. Yeah, the, the Arino, uh, the, the Arino Mark II has more polygons in his face. You, can, you get it without me having to say anything. Let's get on with the first challenge of Demon Returns. That's a mouthful. Uh, flip an enemy over, then jump while riding on them. Yes. You'll see. It makes a lot of sense. It's a bit of a mouthful as one thing, but it's pretty straightforward. It's the fundamental technique of Demon Return. It's a platformer where you can, like, flip the enemies over and use their various properties for platforming. So that's that's what it, that's what it teaches you to do first. Ah, he's freaky. Mario with enemy surfing, essentially, yeah. Demorita. <laughs> they they invented like abbreviations for their own game. Demon Returns is Demorita. Of course, he already bought it. He was really looking forward to it. He'd never forget to get it. I <laughs> I'm not going to try to translate that, because chat would take it the wrong way. So, what, what is the feeling of a demon ride, anyway? Yeah, I'm sure it's, uh... It's not. Of course, the magazine. Hmm? Where's the game for magazine? <gasps> he forgot to buy the magazine! What an idiot! Oh, no, it was already on the shelf, of course. There's something about the font in the colors that says Wall Street? What? What? Some ghosts and goblins? No, 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 you'll see. You'll see. When it fucking loads. Aaron, his mum is yelling at us for playing games too much. I'll press on, we shall anyway. Hades world. Hades nuts! Right, how do you run again? I think it's hold B. Yeah, 
there. So you flip, flip the enemy, jump on them, Takopi ride! Jump, and immediately the nanosecond I press A. It's done! I got it! Good for us. Depending on the enemy we choose to ride on, it, it's a little different. The properties are a little different. That's it. The first challenge of each game is really straightforward. <laughs> Give me an egg. We need an egg. Is a Super Mario World? It's a kind of a pastiche of all sorts of platformers, but I think the one it's um. Funny enough, I think the one that it's got the most visual inspiration from is actually like uh, Gargoyles Quest. The next challenge. Using the Spin Tornado, destroy a block. What is the Spin Tornado? Yes. In this challenge, if you collect two moon medals. Transforming can use the spin tornado with the B button and can therefore destroy the skull blocks. That was the description. Alright? Alright. So the goal is fundamentally to find the two hidden collectibles. I mean, there's more than two, but you know. So, ooh, there's even power-ups. Amazing. Of course there's power-ups arena. It's a video game. Hello? So why, why, why does the protagonist turn into a devil? It's like, it's divine punishment. Like, because he's a tango. Sure, he's a tango. Yeah, he's a tango. That's, that makes sense. Too complicated. Is he a Tengu or a devil? Make up your mind. I don't think there is a run of the second game. There's runs of the first one by at least one Japanese runner that I could like reference for learning this one, but I don't think he's rounded the second game. Because it's a lot longer. There's at least- there's two point-and-click adventures in it, which does not help. Like, they're pretty straightforward, but fuck me, they go on for a bit. Nope. The power isn't turning on. So when this happens, you blow on the cartridge. Give it a try. <laughs> blow on it, or punch the console. Jump! <laughs> what are you doing? You trying to break it? Fine, I'll... <laughs> I'll... He'll blow on the cartridge. bigger. Uh, as seen in hit video game uh, Felix the Cat for the NES. I 
this game has a time limit. Oh, what a miss. Yeah, the, the apple is constantly draining down there. Spooky Mario. No. So, okay, so now I have the spin tornado. Destroy a block, that's the challenge. You play the weirdest games? I don't think this one's that weird, but it's just it's just untranslated. I get the feeling that half this shit wouldn't be considered weird if it was in English. I think that's it. Is it like that Adventure Island game? Uh, a little. In that regard, at least. Every single retro game in this is like it, it 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 combines a bunch of different elements of like popular games of its style. That's why it's a it's a parody game, you know? It's there's not usually one thing that it's specifically lifting off of, it's more like a bunch of stuff at once. Did I have to all this from like Play Asia? I did, yeah, but it actually turns out that recently I don't know how recent of a development this is actually, but it turns out Amazon JP can just ship to the UK now. I figured this out like two days ago. Like, in the past, when I've tried to order from Amazon JP, they've just, like, t they, they tell you to piss off if you don't have a Japanese credit card or a Japanese address, but now it doesn't seem like they care anymore. And if the order's being fulfilled by Amazon themselves, they can just ship whatever to you. Uh, the shipping price is kind of high, but the yen's in the shitter right now, so it's not that bad. <laughs> How does it feel to play? Pretty good. I think they're all... I think these games are actually genuinely very good. I turned the only for Amazon JP the US for years. Yeah, I've been doing it for years. So <laughs> Yeah, admittedly the last time I tried was uh, a while ago, like a very long time ago. But uh, it works now, because I, I finished reading the manga that I was reading, finally, like a couple of days ago, and I was like, well shit, now I need to buy some more. Now I need to buy more manga, because I read my shit in Japanese, because I'm a weirdo. And I was like, what are the- the options for getting books shipped to you from Japan are surprisingly fucking bad. Uh, I wish I was an ebook guy, but I don't like ebooks. I hate reading stuff on my phone. Phones are too small. So I, I like to have books, but it turns out that if the book is being stocked by Amazon JP, you can just buy it. So I bought a bunch of books. They're being sent to me right now. It's great. Zero Gear free international shipping on the weekend is your new addiction. Why is it free international shipping on the weekend? What? So it seems we're proceeding smoothly with the challenges. Does it not? But this challenge is, the, is very difficult. We'll hit you with a very difficult chance. Well then, can you clear this one? Collect a hundred souls. And get a one-up. So can you really clear this one? I'll be waiting. No, but they do it and it's great. That's weird. <laughs> you tried to buy Japanese ebooks on Amazon and they wouldn't let you? Really? It worked fine. Like, I was able to perfectly fine order, like, actual books to my location. It probably depends on where you're based, I suppose, but it didn't seem to have any issues with my very distinctly not Japanese card. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's got a new magazine for us, which I am not looking at very often. Because they're giant blocks of text, and I don't want to translate that shit. Ebooks are weirdly- Ah, uh, it's probably a licensing thing. Physical books, I guess, are easier. Kittai Gamer. Alright, that's like, portable game. I took that to mean cell phone at first. Whew, the times have changed. They're talking about how there are games coming out on portable machines. Ooh, 
ワクワクボーイにカラクラ忍者ハグルマン。What the fuck is that? That's a name. I hate names. Well, anyway, a new game has been added. It's, 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 that's a thing. You go, you go to the store. There's a, there's a, this is a thing added in the sequel.、Uh, you have to sit through the fucking load time, though. Oh, it's so painful. <laughs> the load times aren't incredibly long, but there's way too many of them. Someone doesn't ship you, can always use a forwarding service that does. Yeah, but I'm trying not to pay, like, hundreds of pounds in shipping for, like, a book. We have unlocked this. It's Haggleman, but you can play as the girl. The girl Haggleman. She has a name. I don't know how to read it. I hate names. This isn't the next challenge. This is just something that unlocks. He just yelled it and I wasn't listening. Fuck. Call me, I think. I'm not 100% sure. So it's, it's, it's basically the same game, but you can play as like, this, this girl instead. This is like a little bonus they threw in. Which is cute. It's neat, you know? Return home. Hmm? Is that you? Wanna stop playing and go home? If you don't turn off the power, the, the shop owner will get mad at you. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> it really <laughs> makes you turn off the power before. <laughs> you can't just leave. You have to input R and minus to turn the game off first, then you can go home. Cool. Thank you, man. Gotta, gotta add that little, little bit of extra, you know? It's, it's the versimilitude. Gotta be polite. I love that that's a thing it makes you do. The fact you have to turn the game off before you can leave. What was the chat? It was collect a hundred souls. Why is there a loading time between everything? Fuck, 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 fuck. A soul in every block. I had a controller with a better D-pad. I don't know. I'm using, I'm using a, a Hori pad right now, and it does not have the greatest D-pad in the world. Which makes this a bit more of an ass than I wish. Eh. In! They're worth three each! Your D-pad on the Switch is quite a challenge, I know. The Joy-Cons aren't up to much, and they break constantly, so that's not a real option.、Uh, and third-party controllers exist. I might have to buy- honestly, I'm- <laughs> It's okay, I kicked it Yoshi style. I gotta collect all the souls. Ha ha. Heard a decent deep pass, but you didn't vibe with it when you played Wonder on one? That's a shame. Oh, right, that's. You gotta hit the orbs if you. Oh, I got a weak bonus. Skuna! <laughs> Skuna! <sighs> yeah, look at, look at the D pad I'm using for this. Demon, gamate! 
It's this tiny, like, look at that shit. It's not even, it's actually, like, not even really a D-pad. Super 1 2 extremely. I will not sit here and lie and say that this has nothing to do with the Mario Brothers. As that would be lying to you like a liar. Do you know, I got a confession for, for, for the Mario enjoyers in the chat. Right now, I am one soul short. Uh, I tried to get through Mario 3 once and just couldn't be bothered. Like I didn't I didn't like it very much. I played Mario 3 and like failed to complete it due to not really enjoying it. That is that is where I stand on the matter of Mario platformers. Anyway, I've cleared the challenge. Wow. Did you read the did you read the game fan magazine? It's like, no, I haven't read it yet. <gasps> no way. We haven't heard about the floppy disk system. It'll power up the game console. The gear con because yeah, they, they call it the gear con rather than <laughs> they call it the gear con rather than the Famicom, which is a very funny thing to say out loud in English. will increase greatly. What about the rigid disk system? That's a very different kind of system. <laughs> Ban the streamer, he sucks. The capat, you know, if, if the more space for the games, they get even better. Wow. And the sound is super crisp too. I can't wait. Whoa. The Famicom disk system. Pretty big deal in Japan. So it's like what all like the good games are for. Like, the original Zelda, I'm pretty sure, is a Famicom Disk System game in Japan, but not in the West, because it never came out in America. Or Europe, for that matter. Because uh, this, this game very much recounts the retro gaming experience from the Japanese perspective. Which is perhaps unsurprising. Challenges of Demon Returns aren't over yet. <laughs> the final challenge of Demon Returns. Clear stage 1 4. You know, speaking of little bite sized games that give you little challenges for retro games, you know what game I should try that I never did? NES Remix. It's like this, but for actual games. <laughs> They should, they should put that on the Switch, rather than making me use my 3DS, which is definitely not modded. Please do not sue me for 2.4 million dollars. The load times in this are brutal? I know. I keep... it's bad. It's really bad. I wish it wasn't that way. Seems as if yesterday there's an English patch of germs on CD Romance. Yeah, by someone who seems to have machine translated Spanish. I don't think there's anything invalid with, like, knocking together a quick patch, but it doesn't seem like that's the best approach. It seems what the, the English patch of germs has done is it was translated by someone who doesn't actually know Japanese. They translated the game from Spanish, from the Spanish patch that already exists, into English by way of like machine translation and then editing it. Which like, okay, fair enough if you're going to like... Sure, like, you know, as a quick thing to just knock together to prove that you can insert the whole script, that's fine. But uh, I wouldn't call it like complete, you know? 
Am I going to speedrun the Silent Hill remake when it comes out? I have no idea. Ask, ask me when it comes out, and I'll have an answer for you then. Yeah, if uh, we gotta we gotta first find out if it's like actually something I even want to like play, you know. played any of the Outlast games. One of them once. I wasn't incredibly impressed. Oh! I don't, you know... Am I actually running? I think I'm running. How expensive was this? This was about 40 quid. This cost me about 40 quid. It... It wasn't incredibly expensive, it's like, it's just a regular new game, you know? It's not rare or anything, it just came out. Slow reading aside, this looks like your jam of jams. If you like, you can- this is a remake of two DS games. 40 quid with shipping? Yeah, roughly. Copyright! <laughs> what are you- why are you making these noises? Have you ever wanted a middle-aged Japanese person to yell in your ear while playing a video game? Well, I have great news for you! <laughs> Can play this. You love the show, but Japanese knowledge is quite low. Well, both games have English translations on the DS. One of them officially, one of them via a fan patch. I'm fucking dead because I let go of the jump button. You got the special edition, which has a DVD. I wanted that, but I couldn't find it on Play Asia, which may have just been me not looking that hard. I don't know, I didn't put that much thought into it. I wasn't like that into it. Where am I? I'm somewhere. Hey, Nico. <laughs> Cut your emote. Incredible. I tried CD Japan. Uh, I didn't at the time, no. I just, I, I found the game and it was like 40 and I was like, that'll do. Ah! I, know, I didn't stress about it. Mm. Do I know why some SNES and NES games on Switch read special? No idea. This is this is not a virtual console game. This is like a totally distinct Switch thingy. I don't I don't think I even have access to the the online thingy because I don't subscribe to the weird fucking thingy that Nintendo wants you to. Ah, right, that doesn't kill if you land on top of enemies. That don't work that way. I wish it did. It doesn't, though. Die. Gentle does it. Ah, oh, I fucking... I bounced. I'm die. Bastard. This is why Mario sucks. 
platforms move. Never be it. Never do a Mario. Bruh. You can continue. I don't know if I did a continue code or if that's just a baked in feature of the I held left while doing it, which I think is it works in some of the other games. I don't know if that's the case for this one. Did I, did I do a code or not? I may have done a code. Is he yelling encouraging stuff or just telling you what a disappointment you are? It's a mixture of both. Uh, when you die, he's like, that was lame. Uh, when you don't die. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm fresh. Oh! I'm okay. Yes. I need a better- I really- I desperately need a better D-pad. Please, please subscribe to my Patreon so I can buy a new controller. <laughs> For a game like this, this really needs a better D-pad. This, this might be the game that convinces me to buy a different controller for this console. I'm blaming the D-pad. <laughs> that's, that's my out here. But like, no, really. Like, kind of really. Like, I'm bad. Because 2D platformers, I don't consider this a specialty genre of mine, but also, this D-pad's really not comfortable for this shit at all. This is just not the one. Togemaki. <laughs> 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 Oh, punchy no bonus. Got his ass. Oh, fuck, I didn't land on it properly. But this castle is Hades Princess Castle! Go for Queen's Castle! Clear! Isn't that isn't that just something? Now we've cleared all the challenges of Demon Returns. Well. Casually clipping my foot into the tatami repeatedly while celebrating your victory. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. DualShock 2 and 3 were jewels, the rest are straight butt plugs. I think the DualShock 4 and 5 are fine, they're just kind of too expensive for what they are. I really don't like the DualShock 3, because I, the DualShock 3 feels extremely brittle to me. I feel like I could break it with my hands. Like, I feel like I can just snap it. It's very light. And sure enough, I did actually wear out the D-pads on, like, two PS3 controllers, because I used them to speedrun Freedom Planet, and Freedom Planet is a really high, like, input intensity game. This is a look. 
mentality joke. We're talking about how the game was developed in Hokkaido, which is where the bears get salmon out of the river. It's crazy you can make a game like that in a place. Crazy you can make a game in a place like that. The far north. Hokkaido is north, right? Uh, I like the PS4 pad, but my issue with it is the- is... This is where- okay, we have reached the point where it might be expedient to swap back to Retro Game Challenge 1. You will see why shortly. Kacho wa meitante zenpen. The Kacho is a famous detective, part 1. Is this game called Kacho no Bonus or Retro Game Challenge? It's not called either of those things. The problem is that the title is that. If you can read that, then you're sorted. If you can't, then fart noises. The title is the actual title of this game is Game Center CX Arino Chosenjo Wansu Replay, which is kind of a fucking mouthful. Uh, it is a remake of a pair of DS games, one of which was localized into English as Retro Game Challenge, but not the second one. Confusing. Yeah, the DualShock 4 is a good controller, but micro USB means I have to constantly buy new fucking cables for it. Amacom Detective Club parody, it's a Portopia serial murder case pack. It's. it's all of that. Like, all of the above, really. The next challenge is. Get a business card and hand it to someone. I am very glad I did not look at my kanji before today. Are micro USB cables single use? They break down really fast. So they're, 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 the design is flawed. With use, they break. They're just, they have severe reliability issues. Like, either the cables themselves start to fray, or the port they're inserted into start to fray. Like, it's an issue with the design. It's, like, specific to micro USB as well. Like, I don't have this issue with any other kind of USB cable. It's specifically the micro portion of it that's the fucking problem. Uh, the PS5 controller uses the other one. What, USB-C, I think this is? Uh... That doesn't have that problem. So that is superior. The problem is, is that I don't like the shoulder buttons as much, I guess. That's not a big deal, though. That really only matters for theater rhythm, because you have to use the shoulder buttons a lot. But I find these too heavy to mash quickly. Weird, weird personal thing. Anyway, we are... This is a mystery-solving adventure game that's next. I disagree. Is this Man King Brain Witch? No, this is Game Master Areno. Sure, I'm not just rough, too rough on my cables. I don't, like, they just stay plugged in. They just break by themselves. It's very noticeable when playing on PC is the thing. If you're playing on a console, it might not matter because it intermittently, like, the, the cable becoming a bit loose and flicking between, like, like, wireless and wired probably doesn't matter very much. But when you're playing on PC, if the PS4 controller disconnects even slightly for any moment, it fucking, it shuts off instantly and will, like, games tend to break as a result of that too, which is not great. Ah, th this day has come. The game computer floppy disk system has come to us. He hasn't even opened the box yet. He wanted to do it together. Oh, but like they didn't animate that, so this is he's just talking about it. Of course, he bought some games for it too. Katsuo me tante zimpin. Do you remember when the running joke was that Nintendo made the hardware of an indestructible secret material? Don't you miss those days? Now we're in the day where the Switch has probably the least reliable controller ever released with a home console. So, ah, the, the game shocked him. They're very thin. They're, they're thin and tiny because they come on floppy disks rather than cassettes. He couldn't believe it. He's all about it. He's all about the floppy disk system. 
Why aren't you using BT in your PC for wireless non-cable breaking gaming? Hilarious of you to assume that my computer has Bluetooth. <laughs> I've just remembered that the, the floppy disk system games simulate floppy disk loading times, but that joke probably doesn't work as well when the game already has too many fucking load times. <laughs> Please insert disk. <laughs> nah, it loads way faster than this. system is only for the game computer. <laughs> Last day of the Famicom. Begin. This story is fiction. Resemblances to all persons, oh. groups, are incidental. That's, that's it's something like that. I forget what that, that is in total. This is why... Cool! <laughs> right! That's why they didn't translate this one. Right! <laughs> Love and game. Love and game. That's incidental. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, I totally forgot about that. But this, <laughs> this probably wasn't the reason it was passed up for translation, but holy shit, I totally forgot about that. That's, that, that is not imagery that I think the West would appreciate at fucking all. Whoa. So what is our favorite game? Sekaichi. World number one. Go ahead, we've been waiting. It's, it's, a, it's a mystery game. Love and game. Love and game. It's not, it's not quite... It's it's like, it's a comedic thing, right? This is like, this is, this is, this has the energy of a shitpost. You know, like the, the, the happy, happy villagers in Earthbound? That's kind of the idea there. Problem is, is that it looks very different to us. They were having a meeting. Well then, we bring today's meeting to an end. One more time. So do you love games? Ah! They will continue to spread the love of games. Oh, hood man. He thought food. Hood man. Hooded man. It's. if they translate it. I get the feeling that that is not imagery that would be appreciated. <laughs> so a lot of people were at the gathering. Yes, our, our organization's power is growing. What of the plan? The plan is progressing. Everything is going well. I see. Well, it's only a matter of time before you reach your objective. Ha ha ha. It's a, they're having a chat. Mysterious man's having a chat. Repeat yourself, think the art in this is top notch. It's really good. The pixel art in this game's great. Cabin. 
a police officer stumbled on the scene, but they have both already left. And it's like, hmm, someone here? No one. Was it just my imagination? Could it be the rumoured? Mystery game. Yeah, this is why, uh, this is a bit of a pain. This is, this was the mass- back when I imported this game from Japan and I couldn't read the language at all, this was a massive fucking problem for me. Because obviously, you can kind of get through the other bits via trial and error and patience if you just sort of play for long enough. Uh, the adventure game portion, no, you really need to know what the fuck you're looking at. You need to know the words, bro. It's all hiragana, but you gotta know the words. It helps. And so that's what happened last night. I definitely heard someone talking, but when I opened the door, there was no one there. It's like a ghost story. Whoa. Past a certain point, lack of consciousness from I hate it. <laughs> Personal. That being said, I guess I don't really want to see... I've been uh, taking a look at some PS1 untranslated games lately for, like, future video projects. Uh, and holy shit, some of the scrungled kanji are really bad. It's like, you, <laughs> you, you really need to have, like, the theory of mind for what some of these look like compressed into such an incredibly small space. Because some, some of the PS1 kanji look like shit. Well, you don't know? The seven mysteries of the factory. There's all kinds of rumors about it. I still prefer having them. I do as well. Like, there, there is a reason that besides games like this, which are doing, uh, like a retro throwback thing, no one does, like, Kana only on purpose anymore. <laughs> With, the, with, like, the notable exception of Pokemon, which I think does it for, like, really young audiences. That's it. Ah, you're a, you're a new employee. So there's no way we'd already know. Uh, what's your name again? We get another name entry screen! Incredible! I'm gonna be punchy again. Can I even fit punchy into this? I think I can. Ooh, even, like, the Duck Ten isn't even its own character. What incredible technology. Where's N? God damn it. There it is. Uh... Yeah, there's... Perfect. See? This is the beauty of my username, and that it actually fits into four characters. Yeah, yeah, punchy. I didn't forget. I was just making sure. Alright, man. Arino is currently uh, Arino in the game is talking. We we play as like an un, as a as a player named new employee. This it, this is all a joke about the show itself, right? Like every character in this is like a is a an employee on the show. Let's do our best. Games into CX. Game Center CX Company is a company that manufactures cassettes for the Famicom. Whoa! We are a new employee at the company. The layers of Metastory are getting dense extremely. Is there a Twitch channel that streams episodes 24-7? I think that got shut down. Now, these rumors I paid no mind to are actually related to a big incident. At that time, I never could have known. Whoa. 
We have a call from Ishikawa. Wow, President Ishikawa. He says it's about something important. Whoa. It's rare to get a call from the president. Let's go. I have a bad feeling about this. I do feel this is a confidence boost for me personally. I might not be translating this very well, but I'm following perfectly fine. Fuck you guys. <laughs> the pixel arena. <laughs> oh, it is about the sprite, but it makes me giggle. Oh, the president isn't even here. So he just called us, but he's not even here. Ridiculous. Man! Yeah, I know. So I, I wasn't able... Nope, there he is. He showed up. I wasn't able to read this at all. Like, when this came out, when I imported it, but now I actually can, wow. This is a very weird list of commands. President, there you are, what did you want to talk about? Actually, has something he wanted to ask us to do. So we can handle it. Dun, dun, dun. So there, are, there are rumors being spread around the company right now. Hmm. <laughs> How would I translate this? I wonder what the fan translation did actually. So he wants us to find out about the seven mysteries. <sighs> what, this again? <laughs> We're producing a lot of games for Ban... for Bandai now. That had to be... that was changed! Because it, it says Ban Namu in the text now, right? So we're producing a lot of games for Bandai Namco. You'd never guess who the publisher of this one is, by the way. Uh... Hang on, I'm gonna double check. Was it was it was it Bandam when the DS game came out? They had to they had to change the text of this one because that was just Bandai before. This was published by just Bandai originally, but now it's Bandam. They have, they they had to change that. They had to change that to Bandai Namco. Bamco Namdi, Namdi Bambi Bamba. <laughs> the, the little changes like that amuse me greatly, because, like, it's otherwise such a faithful and exact remake that the very small iterations made for, like, the substance, for, like, the circumstances of system and publisher are very humorous to me. Incidentally, while I've got the case of the second game out, uh, check it out. The business card. Wow. This one has no English on it. Corporate continuity. Happy, I'm happy. <laughs> it pleases me. It's like it's novel. If the rumors continue unchecked, it will destroy the company. Yeah. When you think about it, Meishi is like an attacker, so it's got the stab character in it. They based an entire beat em up around that idea in this game, Will. They, one of the new things added in this remake is like an entire new retro game that they added just for this in like the sub menu. It's a, it's a game where you control a salary man uh, in like a River City Ransom kind of parody, and one of his attacks is just to hit people with his fucking business card. It's like, it's like his super move. He wants us to find out the, the, the true mystery of the, the seven the se Shut the fuck up, Arena! He's yelling at me for not reading fast enough! I do not need this in my life!
So if, if we if we figure out the truth, everyone will lose interest in them, and, they can, and everyone can focus on their work instead. Right now, the, the, co the company is too distracted with the seven mysteries. <laughs> we got a direct request from her. <laughs> Say hi or yes. Give us this, huh? These are new business cards. Yeah, since 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 we're on a special project, we need special business cards. You show them to people. People around the the people around the company will give us their cooperation. Wow, very cool. <laughs> These emoji ass motherfuckers. The one on the left is Ishikawa, the one on the right is Arena. That's the card in the box, right? Yeah, it's a it's a business card. A huge part of like Japanese corporate culture is the exchange of business cards. Perhaps you have heard of this. Use the movement command to do this thing. I want to use memo though. That's game saving. Because I don't want to repeat the fucking intro again, thank you. Missy! I present Arino with a business card. I got Ishikawa's business card, but that didn't count. Why not? Why not? Okay, the meter. Go. Reception desk. Uroka. So you got called in by the president. Did something happen? Find out it was that we're playing games right before the release of the new one. Whoa! Hey, she. Doesn't know. Oh, actually, I think you might have to save before challenge is complete in this one, to specifically to prevent you from losing progress. We can ask him anything. Wow, but no, save the game again after doing. I think that counts. Because the challenge was just to hand a business card to someone, it doesn't matter who. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. It makes sense. So isn't the floppy disk system amazing? Now we don't need to, like, write down passwords on notes. Take the notes. The machine can save it for us. Incredible. We don't need passwords anymore. Wow. 
here, here Kidarino is commentating on the fact that the uh, the guy in the game has the same name as him. You know, like the whole game isn't based around Dorino. Challenge is no big deal. It's merely a warm up. Nazo no, dare mo inai kaigishitsu o kaimese o solve the mystery of the empty meeting room. The first mystery. Solve the mystery of the empty meeting room. Get to the heart of the mystery. Can you solve this mystery? I will solve it, but not on this stream, because I think it would be particularly cruel to watch- to make people watch me play a fucking point-and-click adventure in a language that they can't read, is because I'm not translating it line by line, it takes too long. And also I get stuck for the words sometimes. Tra live translation is extremely difficult, guys. Blah blah blah. So you can play all kinds of different games on the floppy disk system. Are oh, they talking about that thing? Uh, it's like you can, we can you can copy different games to the floppy disk. They're talking about that that thing in Japan where there were like kiosks where you could put the floppy disks in it would copy a new game to the disk. I don't think. Yeah, that was obviously it wasn't a thing in the states because the fucking fo like floppy disk system never came out that way. It's much cheaper than buying the games normally, so it's a bargain. So if, if I'm gonna, like, if I'm gonna copy it, if I'm gonna exchange a game that way, what kind of game would you like? Puzzle game. Shooting game. It's gotta be a shooting game for me. Mmm, a shmup, huh? Yeah, blow, blowing stuff up, that kind of thing feels good. The dawn of piracy. This was an official thing. Like, they, they, there were kiosks made like specifically by Nintendo to do that. Because it overwrote the game on the disc. However, I will jump off of Retro Game Challenge 2 for the time being, because again, I think it would be particularly mean. Yeah, but it... To make you guys watch me play a point-and-click game. <laughs> it's like, I can handle it now, I think, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna get through that one. But... Fuck me, do I not want to translate every word? Let's check out the, the Yari Kombi mode real quick. Is this what I think it is? Is this what free play is in the original? Uh, keeps track of various records in this mode, like play count. Uh, the, st the the stats from the story mode do not reflect in these records. Unlike the story, you cannot use invincibility or stage select codes. Domo domo. We simply have no stats. We are an ordinary employee. Yeah, we only this is this is the free play mode. We have only unlocked uh, one game. It does keep track of your stats though. You can see ridiculous things like how many times you've pressed the friggin' A button. So if you, we, we, we need to rank up our, by playing more, include the playtime. There's a game over count, there's an A button count, there's a game reset count. Just boot the game up and just start resetting over and over again to increase my rank. Fantastic, love that for me. What could, let's, let's, let's do it. But it this, this is the essence of free play mode. Fuck these load times, they're so bad! <laughs> Most resets, I got this.
That was probably like 6,000 resets, probably. Something like that. How do I get out? I don't know how to get out. Oh god, I'm stuck. I don't know how to leave the game. Uh, 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 ooh, uh, it's Eleanor. My rank has increased. <laughs> my rank increased to E, my gamer grade increased to E, but the, the title changed to Reset Lover. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's fucking rude. <sighs> I should change my Japanese Twitter account to have that as the banner. That'd be really fitting, actually. I like these games. These these games make me feel warm and fuzzy. I have I have a lot of nostalgia for uh for the the retro game challenge releases because I played them on the DS many moons ago. It's kind of funny that I am nostalgic not for the retro games but the retro game throwback game, which was mostly pastiche games that I didn't play. Make make of that what you will. What? No, get out of. I don't want to- no, why am I playing Cosmic Gate? I guess it remembered? What is the ch I've already forgotten what the- well, I say I've already forgotten, I haven't- I dipped to play a- Right, reach floor three without dying. The load time for checking the challenge was just brutal, dude, that's really bad. <laughs> that's not great. Is that what? You want to stop playing this game? Yes. Why was it even in the system? Get it out. Get it out of there. What time is it? This is not going to be a very long stream. Oh, it was there. Fuck. It fucked up. The boss was there. I'm allowed to use the shurikens now, which makes my life easier. Switch remake, did they? Are they remaking all the games for the six games? They remade the first two, they didn't remake the third. Notably, there, there was a third game in this series, I actually own it, it's over there. Arino no Sancho me. That did not get a remake, along with these two. I assume the reason for this is that no one fucking likes it. <laughs> Uh, Sancho May did not review well, and no one seems to be that fond of it. I played- I played Sancho May for a bit on stream, and I found it really boring. Is it different to the first two somehow? Conceptually, no, but it has a different development team, and they just don't, like, get it the same way I feel like Indie Zero did. Predicted it. Ooh. Predicted it. It's just, the games present in Sancho Mei are pretty boring, is the main issue with it. It's just not much fun to play. friend found a cheat code for Haggleman in the magazines. Or got it printed, rather, in the mag- like, he, it, you know. he found it out. We find the hidden characters. 
we can mail in to the magazine. It's not actually a thing. They're just talking. They're just saying words. So we've we've done well to make it this far. Whoa. The final challenge will be the most difficult, most pressing challenge yet. Clear floor eight and see what comes next. Whoa. Has a background full of binary because he's Game Master Arena. He's made of games. Are you made of games? I didn't think so. So, what right do you have to complain? Hmm? No, you're made of me. Well, that's your fucking problem. You should be made of games instead. I guess I'm going this way. This is a great strategy. Why does the boss run away from me? Come here! Isn't that Segata Sanshiro? No, that's Kacho Arino. Death. Nothing, they're not on the screen. I'm searching for the hidden boss to try and clear a little faster. Nope. Bonus! Ooh. Get a bonus! There he is. There's the guy. You can make the boss appear by killing all the enemies, or you can just, like, get hit like a fucking idiot. That's what you can also do. It's a great idea. Highly recommended. Whoa! Don't hit me. Uh, or you can reveal them hiding behind a door. You have multiple options. Revealing him is, like, faster, obviously. So that's what I'm aiming for. Nope. Nothing there. So when you enter a door, all doors of the same color flip. Which can be used to attack enemies in faraway locations. It can also be used to uncover the boss. I made a dog appear. I didn't do that on purpose, that was an accident, but it worked. Did the dog do anything? It attacked all the enemies on the screen, I think, but I don't think it, like, hit properly. <laughs> so, not quite. Could have been better. I've revealed the boss already. A great victory for me in the battle of ideas. Got his ass. Stage, this stage doesn't wrap around. Oh, we found it. We found Purple Skull Man. Come here. Where do you think you're going? A new enemy appears. Does it bollocks? There was a guy there. You don't understand. The dudes increased all of a sudden. No, the dudes increased!
bonafide catcho moment. I found the boss at least. I don't think he's gonna get out. That was fortunate. Stay too long in any like one lane and a giant spike wheel just flies across to hit you in the head. It's, it's there to just prevent you from camping one door. The dude economy is booming? Absolutely. Ah! No! He's escaping! Oh, got him. Got him with the door. Got him with the door. Fight a boss! Activate the power. Kill them all! Ooh, lucky. Wah! Wah! Boss man. Oh, <laughs> I got him in the loop. <laughs> I don't think I hit him, I think he bonked the wall. Floor 8 clear. Patanhaita. Do I, do I gotta press the button? That was easy? I only make it look easy. It's not the hardest game in the world, I'm not gonna lie. Congrats, you saved the princess. Cool. Good for- But! But! My adventure is not end! No! Clear! The adventure is not end. It's one of those games that has a second loop. I, I, I do I do really love the commitment to the fucked up English. I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. <laughs> but if we if we ever have to challenge a kusoge, it's talking about hmm. So it's it's a good thing that the Haggle Man is is fun. So if if we ever need to challenge a shit game, hmm. It'd be really terrible. Agreed. But it, also, I love to challenge the Kusoge. My adventure is not end, can you believe it? Now I've unlocked Haggleman for the free play mode. Good for me. Language. What? This game has a rating of zero. Oh, it's rated for all ages. Fuck. Alright, never mind. Laddie King has been released, which is a game about Larrys who control kingdoms. No, it's Rally King, like cars. So give us a new game to challenge. The next game is Rally King. And here's the challenge. Perform a drift boost twice. I can't pronounce words. Doesn't matter, it's fine. So drift boosting is uh it's um it's that thing that you Ah whatever. If you don't know what it is, check the instruction manual. I might actually have to do that. I don't remember how it works. <laughs> so again where you interview people as the late Larry King. Uh that would be pretty out there. They would never make a game based on a real person. That's just silly. That doesn't make any sense. Oh no! Is Rally King? I just bought it! Whoa. 
Each time, it's very convenient. Mm. Ah, whatever. Let's just hurry up and play. Of course, I got the magazine, too. Can we play the adventures of Punchy in 20 years or so? They'll never make a game based on me. I'm not cool like the Kacho is. Ooh. If only I was as cool as a man in, like, his 50s. Lally King! Uh, I do actually want to check the manual, because I don't remember how to do a drift boost. <laughs> I'm not translating all of that shit, have fun. Uh... Dorif... 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 ボタンを一瞬離したwhen you do, when you reach a certain speed, uh, release the A button for a moment, and you start to do a drift. If you manage to hold that position at an angle for about a second, you get a boost. You're cool in our hearts, also make fewer fat phobic jokes in Arena. I, I have noticed that as well. <laughs> The, the show is really mean towards Watanabe in a way that doesn't doesn't gel with my brain, you know. How do you get the starting boost in this one? Not like that. Drift boost, drift boost. No, not quite. Ooh. It kind of works. Oh, I spot out. Fuck. I need to use a boost to get through. There we go. I'm not as good at this as I once was. I need to review the ancient texts in order to drift better. Race game, what the hell? Racing game, whoa. Steer by using the D pad. It's kind of how much the entire show shit on Watanabe when she was part of the crew. Kinda. See, Watanabe actually got pretty popular in her own way as an AD, but yeah, it, it's one of those things that just doesn't scan as funny to an English speaking audience, you know? He's talking about how when he, when he, when he steers, he moves his body without thinking about it when he plays a racing game. I get that, I really do. It really, really feels like he's driving a car. In this game, are you sure? The most uncomfortable part of the show. I really have to assume it's just one of those things that, like, doesn't strike a Japanese audience as, as blunt as it does. Because, like, to us it comes off as really fucking mean, you know? It really does. Like, some, some, of, some of those, like, it's not even, like, little. When, when they really get on Watanabe's case, they really get on her case. It's like, shit, dude. I don't think anyone would put up with that in real life. Like, not in the West, at least. Like, god damn, if you did that, you would be called an asshole. Course oh. it's your console Complete the first course. It's funny that this uses a different word. Console sta console. I disagree. I am donating for the eventual Phoebe overtaking of stream. Portable head, thanks for the 28 months. People have like brought up the idea of making Phoebe like the stream mascot. You know, like my representative like little mascot character. I'm like, it's not even my fucking cat. It's the cat of just a person, you know? It's like just one of my people. It's not my cat. Phoebe, Phoebe is more popular as a symbol of the stream than I am. That's crazy, man.
<laughs> that makes it even funnier. I know, but I can't use- the thing is, I can't use someone else's cat, you know? So he's asking, are you the kind of person who buys strategy guides? I definitely have more than a few. They're good research, especially for old games. Oh. So you bought one, you definitely want to beat the game. Play it, bit, play it little, go over everything with a fine deal. Just ask for permission. I, even if I have permission, though, I don't... I don't really want to do that, you know? It's a little- it's slightly weird, like, even with permission. So, if you- if you rely too much on strategy guides, it feels- I feel like the games become a little less interesting. Hmm. Seattle? Who is Phoebe? Phoebe is the cat of one of, the, uh, my viewers. Who posts on the Discord, and they're a very photogenic cat that's very popular in my Discord, to the point where I think the the cat of this just one of my viewers is more popular than I am. You can see a picture you can see a couple of pictures of Phoebe at the very end of the last video I uploaded, because I <laughs> I included some of the, the cats of the punchy Discord as like part of the bit. Right, let's complete the course. Somebody how do you get the boost? Oh, oh I've Oh, I'm fucking so bad at racing games, bro. This is not the source. I found a shortcut and I bonked the fucking wall. But I got a panda. Streamer is not- I am not goaded with the source. It's just not possible. Boost! Boost! No! 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 Oh, actually, I am. I'm goaded. I'm goaded. I just needed to remember. No, I hit. It's fine. I'm trying to drift and it's. Okay, that's good. Ah! See, you understand the technique, right? Like, you gotta drift- it's like- it's like Mario Kart. Too much Mario- no, I came in first place, I'm great. I- I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. You gotta- you gotta drift repeatedly. When they, when they finish a race in Rally King, the winners are shower of champagne. It's like, isn't that weird? It's such a waste. My grandma says you shouldn't waste food pointlessly. What if it was beer? Beer's okay. Beer is fine. It would be totally cool, apparently. That's the logic. In Germany, you're offended. Don't waste beer. 
take it up with the Japanese, bro. Don't take it up with me. Complete course two in at least uh, above rank ten. Within the top ten, I think is the way. Does this include tenth place or not? I forget. I think it means you have to be at least ninth. So you've been polishing your driving skills. I've got this. Is there a level select code for Rally King? It's probably in the magazine. Ah, oh, there we go. So he went and bought the latest game magazine for us. Ooh, in this magazine, two new games were announced. Whoa! I'm kind of skipping over the magazines because I kind of already know what I'm doing, but you know. So he heard a, lately, he heard a rumor at his school. It seems like there's a there's a Majin who's really good at games. Majin. What about what this Majin? Whoa. Did you know about this Majin? So what, you know, what's so amazing about <laughs> his hair is incredible. His uh, his speed is incredible. Like in, in the sense of like being able to press the button repeatedly. Oh, button end dash this so go ahead or something. Tamo utsu no ka. It's like ah, mashing the pressing the button repeatedly with an incredible speed. So you can play a shooting game really well by mashing really fast. Look at the magazine. Is there a level select code in the magazine for Rally King? So I don't have to play the first course again? Rally King Kouryoku Taisen. Daisen. Gaudia Crystal. Ah, this is uh, the Dragon Quest alike that shows up later in the game. It shows up here. This is this is known as foreshadowing, folks. Uh, you can input a code to become invincible. Which is not really what I care about. I'm looking for a level select code, bro. 3, 2, 1 no countdown sasseru, 2 no tokumai no timing ga A button o shi hajime yo. Press A when just before it becomes 2 on the timer to get the starting boost, I see. Code, code, vice, course, which is Tony Kaku do lift all the stores, scow, short cut to timing ga eba, course, to my kit, the sokoto ka o chill zone ni hail, short cut to nerae. Hmm. During the zone where the speed. You lose your speed. Aim for the shortcut. But where's the level select code? No such thing? None? Are we sure of this? That is cringe if true. Rally King Hisatsu Teki no Denju. Rally King Saisoku Rebu. is if you start to slip, repeatedly rock the d-pad back and forth to unfuck yourself, which is not what I'm looking for. Code to instantly get three scrolls, I don't care about that, that's from a different game. There's no level select code I know it exists! How dare they not write it? How dare they leave it for later? That's fucked up of them. The load times for looking at the magazines is brutal, dude. <laughs> what is it loading? It's just images! Let's try the invincibility command just for the hell of it. You don't get penalized for using cheat codes that they built into the game for this. So you want to go for the fastest clear possible, you just use them. Uh, on the title screen, hold up, left, and minus. 
that made a noise, I will assume that worked. Yep, my car is now green. Did I get the boost? Yes! Rolling start, gamers. I, I can no longer take damage. I have input the cheat code. Doesn't actually help you drive any fucking better though, does it? the shortcut. I was drifting too hard. I was gaming. No, that's not gamer. Mm. No, that's not gamer either. Why? That's... Uh, nah. That guy just died. That was- someone died there. Someone crashed into the wall and just exploded. Fuck, I cannot get the drift in this one. Oh, spun out entirely. Memorize the course quite well to use drifting appropriately. Seventh place, very cringe. Try to the next course. Very cringe indeed. That was probably too early. No, oh, still got it. I need to finish in the top 10. No! Fuck off! Being invincible was one thing, but... It doesn't help if some asshole is like right in front of you when you're trying to boost. spin out. Get the boost. Get it. Just get- I don't care how. Make it work. Why isn't it possible? It's just not possible. Why not? I don't know why sometimes it just sputters and doesn't give me a boost and why sometimes it's like really fussy about it. practice this. Name game, please. This is... That's kind of a weirdly complicated question to answer, because this game doesn't have an English translation. Well, I mean, it kind of does. That's the thing. That's why it's complicated. It sort of does and it sort of doesn't. Where the fuck am I going, by the way? That's fine, I got the first place. Uh, this is Game Center CX Arino no Chosenjo Wansu Replay, which is a Switch remake of a game that was called Retro Game Challenge in English on the DS. One of them anyway. This is like a one in two collection. The second game 
It was never translated, but the first one was. And this is also not translated. The remake is not. This is, you see why this is a weirdly complicated question? <laughs> Tomato. So which one do you think is more- they were talking about how, you know, the, the games announced in the magazine seem really cool. It's like, do you think Star Prince or Guardia Quest looks more interesting? I played like fucking 20 hours of Guardia Quest back on the DS. I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them Quest. I love RPGs. I'm an RPG guy. Hey, Nadokami. Is this on a Japanese TV show? Yeah. I have watched an embarrassing amount of games into CX, frankly. Noticed how CX kind of looks like an emoji if it's if it's like you flip it sideways. So I didn't think you clear it so fast. Whoa! See, but you've cleared them just as fast as Rally King is. Whoa! This is the last challenge for Rally King. Ichimango Sento Mezase. Get 10,000... 15... Uh, 15,000. <laughs> Math! Game Center Lamal XD, exactly. It's... it's, it's, it's 15,000 points, that's what it wants. We gotta get score. Going, it's not here, it's not here. Where is it? What am I looking for? Isn't it obvious? He's looking for a game, a cartridge that lights up when the power is turned on. Took me a while to pass that for some reason because I'm bad. Apparently a friend of his had it at his house. Whoa. But he doesn't have one. What a loser. Loser. So we'll help him look for one. Wow. Right. It's about midnight where I'm at. This was always planned to be kind of a shorter stream. I will call it there for now. I like these games. The load times are kind of painful compared to the DS version, but I like these games. I might pick up the speedrun of one of these. Depends. I have other stuff I think I want to get to first, mind you. But I like these games enough, and the Switch version provides a fairly convenient excuse for me to actually finally learn the run of at least the first game. Because I basically already know, I routed it once. But it is enjoyable. I like these games, they make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I have a lot of nostalgia for them. Sorry, the music's still going. Right, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the stream, drop me a follow here on the twitch.television. I'll probably play the rest of this off stream on my own time, mind you. If you're in the Twitch chat or the YouTube chat, check out the video I just uploaded. It's about Shadow Hearts. I like to talk about games that I like. It's great. It's like one of my favorite things about being a content person is you just get to ramble about games you enjoy. Fantastic. Let's find someone to raid Shadow Good Hearts. Morning. Good morning. It's midnight. That's not morning. 
I guess, I guess in a sense, it could be considered morning. But uh, I don't consider it morning. I consider it night. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over to Harutomo's stream. They are Japanese, but they can also understand some English. I don't think they mind very much that people talk in English in their chat, so that's fine for once. I'm normally a bit like... <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've talked about this before, but I feel really iffy about raiding into Japanese streamers, even though I do mainly watch Japanese streamers, because it's it feels a bit odd to drop, like, several hundred English speakers into the chat of someone who doesn't speak English, you know? That feels, like, slightly rude. Uh, Haru-san doesn't give a shit, fortunately, so... Wait! I don't think most people give a shit, actually. I think I just psych myself out with that. Regardless. Uh, I don't even know what Harrow is playing. What are they doing? I don't know. We can find out. Right, have fun. I will see you guys in the next stream. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.